Greetings. That's right. Barr is going to be playing some Fallout 2 with you. Uh, this is one of my favorite games from my youth. And I was just realizing recently that I have not actually ever finished this game. Uh, so I decided to jump in, uh, play it from the start, uh, create a brand new character, and take everybody through my adventures in the wasteland. I'm going to be playing using uh, Killap's uh, Restoration Project, which is available on the No Mutants Allowed website. Um, what that does is basically it puts the game back together the way it was originally intended to be. Uh, see, this game suffered the same fate as many sequels and uh, was in fact rushed out the door. Uh, and unfortunately, it was sort of half completed. Um, still managed to be an absolutely fantastic game, uh, but what this patch does, uh, it's an unofficial patch and some tweaks and a couple of mods that uh, it does a little bit to the gameplay. Uh, there's uh, better ammunition, uh, some cool stuff like that, but basically still uh, the uh, purest form of Fallout 2 that's uh, really playable all the way to completion. So I've got that installed. The newest version is 2.1.2 uh, beta. So that's what I'm running. Um, what I'm going to do is create my character here. Now, in the Fallout series, luck is always the most important skill to have. Uh, well, the most important attribute. Uh, here you see the uh, special system of attributes. Now, those of you familiar with role-playing games, these probably all make a lot of sense already. But you've got strength, which is, uh, you know, strength, strength, dir. What, what else could strength possibly mean? Uh, good for your hit points, your melee damage, and your carry weight. Now, I am not going to be playing a fighting character. So I'm actually going to drop this by at least one point. Uh, it operates on a point system here for the character creation, so uh, I'm going to uh, build my character up as I want him. Perception is important, um, especially since when I do have to get into combat, I think I'm going to be a, uh, a distance shooter. But, drawback is you don't find a gun until quite a ways, well, not quite a ways, this is a really long game, but uh, until after the first few fights. So to survive, I, I may have to be, <laughs> I may actually have to start out the game by running away an awful lot. Uh, endurance, let's see, that's my resistances and my healing rate which is important, and the number of hit points I get per level, but, again, eh, I just can't, uh, not what I'm looking for in a character. Charisma is very important to the type of character I want to play. Uh, in this game, you can talk yourself out of most situations that look like you may have to fight yourself out of them. And the better charisma I have, uh, the better prices I get on everything, too. So, let's see, we're going to get my charisma up there a little bit. Uh, intelligence. I also want a really high intelligence. Uh, intelligence means skill points. And the more skill points I get, um, the better off I am, because, well, the better character I can build. Uh, I got my skills over here. And those will progress through the game, and I'm going to uh, tag some of those in a second, which I'll explain that too. But I definitely want a high intelligence, and let's see, my agility. Um, action points. Now, this is a turn-based uh, combat game, which, uh, if any of you are familiar with tactics-based games, this is kind of like that, except you only really get control of one character. Uh, and you get a certain number of action points per round or per turn, and 
different uh, actions, of course, cost points, and you can do things based on what you can do. Uh, and armor class. But I intend to actually get uh, a lot of armor later on. So I'm going to go like this, like this. And uh, my optional traits here. I've taken Bloody Mess because that's going to be the most fun uh, for everybody to watch. That means enemies that I kill tend to explode in all sorts of gory uh, gibbets. Uh, and since this is a uh, an R-rated game, I, I can't say that I'm going to even bother trying to watch my language. Um, R-rated game means R-rated Let's Play. Now, the loss of 10% of all my skills is kind of a hit, but a plus one boost to every last one of my uh, stats here is definitely beneficial. Okay, so we're going to take luck down to 10. Now, I mean, 11 luck would be even cooler, but not really necessary. I can drop my strength and my endurance back down to 4, my perception of 5, and that's going to give me 9s here. Then I can bring my agility back up to 6. I'm thinking that's looking like a pretty good character. It's definitely the kind of guy I want to play. Smart, witty, lucky, uh, pretty good intelligence, um, kind of wimpy, uh, average perception. I think it's going to have to do. Now the tag skills. What this means is when I go to put points in them as I level up, um, one point is going to equal 2% on whichever of the three tag skills that I take. Um, there are also some benefits to taking certain skills as tag skills. Uh, different uh, lines of dialogue open up and such. The ones I really want are Outdoorsman, because that allows me to uh, use the plants of the wilds in order to uh, help myself better survive. I can make uh, healing powder and uh, anti-venom uh, and stuff like that. Now, speech. I said I am going to be a chatty Cathy character. Uh, I want to be able to get myself out of situations so that I don't have to fight because, well, as I said, my character is kind of a wuss. So I'm going to take speech. Now you can see that also put 20% into there already. So my speech, I am, I am on my way to being the, uh, the next president. And small guns. I said that this isn't really necessary early on because it takes a while to find a gun, but um, once I find one, I'm going to be far enough in the game that I really want to get those points racking up quickly, so I'm going to take small guns. There is also big guns, which I will take later on, but that's uh, really big guns, and I'm not even going to find those until quite uh, a ways into this game. So that's about it. Um, I'm going to save this character. Oh, wait, no. I'm not going to save this character quite yet. I'm going to name this character. age into this character. It's true. I'm not going to lie to you. And now I'm going to save this character. Just in case something happens, you can actually save um, your character as well. And then I can preload him later and tweak him if I wanted to start a new game with the same character. And this game is old enough that it uh, forces the 8 dot three naming convention on this file. Let's see, eight action points is pretty good. Um, it means I'm going to be able to deliver two kicks and then run away. Um, let's see, my unarmed is decent for when I have to get into combat for this first little bit. Poison resistance pretty good. Rad resistance, uh, that's going to be important. My sequence is 10. That's uh, I think that's fairly good. Yeah, I should start sort of in the middle. That's like um, initiative for anybody with D&D &D experience. 
healing rate of one, well, that could be better, but uh, since I've decided to move the remove the 13 year time limit on the main quest, uh, I can play this game for as long as it takes me. 10% yeah, crit chance, that could be better, but it will get better later on. Well, let's call this done. Come in, chosen one. There are things you must know. The village is dying. The signs are everywhere. Withering crops. Dying Brahmin. Sick children. There is hope, however. A slim hope. That few know of. The old discs speak of an item called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It is said it can bring life to the wasteland. This will be your quest, if you prove yourself worthy. For that proof, you must first journey to the Temple of Trials. If you survive, come back to me. We will talk more. Our life is in your hands, Chosen One. Prove yourself. Find the Gek. Be our salvation. Ominous. Bear with me, folks. I'll see you again next time.